Hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to Idea Store Storytime Online. It's really nice to have you and this is where we read a book and where we sing some songs. So first of all, I would really like to welcome you all to this session and I will welcome you with the welcome song. Do we know the welcome song? I think we do because we've done it other times. So the welcome, first we have to go hello like this and first we have, and then we have to go with this movement, which is a little bit more difficult, but we can try. Ready? One, two, me and you. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Well done, very good. So we will read a story today and we will read it on screen. But there is no better way to enjoy a story and a book than having the book in your hands and turning the pages yourself. And now that the libraries are open, you can come and you can borrow your books and you can enjoy them at home. So check which one is the nearest idea store and library or library to where you live and then you can join with the membership. You can join the library and you can do the membership online. There is no age limit. Children can be as young as possible and they can still join the library and they can borrow books. And I just wanted to show you some of the fantastic new books that we have in the library now. This is a really nice series of books for children under five. Where is my tiger? Where is my owl? And where is Mr. T-Rex? And what I like about those books is that they have really nice big flaps that you can open and close. So it's a book but it's also a toy in a way, it's interactive. So please come see us and borrow some of the books. And in the meantime, let us read the story and sing a song. The story we are going to read is of the Zoe and Beans series and it's called The Pants on the Moon. It's by Chloe and Mick Inkpen, and I am reading it with permission from Macmillan's children's books. And it's a story about going to the moon. So why don't we do a song about going to the moon? Do you know a song about going to the moon? I think some of you might know and some of you might not. So I will tell you one thing that you need to go to the moon is a rocket. Do you have a rocket? This is how the rocket goes, like this. Are we ready? One, two, me and you. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, and jump high to the moon. Jump, 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 jump. Well done. Did you jump there? Did you not jump? How are you going to reach the moon if you don't jump? Let's try again. Are you ready? Rocky? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, and now jump! Jump, 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 jump! Well done, I think you are now, you have reached the moon. And let's see what happens in this book. Pants on the moon. One windy Thursday, 
while Zoe was hanging out her pants to dry, a huge gust of wind blew across the garden and Zoe's dress inflated like a balloon and she flew up into the air. Ping! went the washing line. Help! squealed Zoe. Ping! went the washing line again. Grab hold, beans! We are going up! Up went Zoe. Up went the pegs and the pants and the washing line. Up went beans. Up they floated. Up into the blue sky. Up above the town. Up, 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 up into the clouds. Suddenly, there was a terrible rushing, rumbling, roaring. Squeezy jet. Whoosh. The big stinky airplane blew Zoe's dress right off. It grabbed the washing line and hurled them into space. And they landed with a bump on the moon. Ouch! Now Zoe had a sore bottom and her nice clean pants were covered in moon dust. But it's difficult to stay upset when Beans is licking your face and making you giggle. Especially when there is a whole moon to explore. Here we go round the moony moon. Here we go round the moony moon. Here we go round the moony moon. They skipped all the way to the dark side of the moon where they had an upside down party with a moony mo. Then they skipped all the way back again and bumped into an odd thing. Look, Beans, somebody's put a flag on the moony moon. Zoe and Beans lay down to catch their breath and looked up at the stars while Zoe, clever Zoe, thought of a way to get back home. Ha ha! Goodbye, Moony Moon! Goodbye, Moony Mole! They rescued Zoe's dress on the way back down and avoided the stinky airplanes. Squeezy jet, squeezy jet. They crashed into the garden in a big tangly heap. Oh, home again, said Zoe. Zoe hummed to herself as she washed the moon dust out of her pants. It was long past bedtime before she was finished, but at last all her pants were clean. Well, nearly all of them. And that is the end of our story. So remember one of those nights to look up in the sky like Zoe? See if you can see the moony moon. See if you can see the moony mole. Yeah? And I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you enjoyed the story time. There is a new story time video on the Idea Store website and on the Idea Store story time YouTube channel every day at half past 10 in the morning and please subscribe to the youtube channel and we hope to see you soon again bye bye